Are you a fan of video games? Do you enjoy half thought out battle plans? Are you a fucking moron? Well, then you're in the right place. Grab a controller and watch your back because the team killing glitch tards have just entered the chat. fantastic episode of the Team Killing Glitch Tards. My name is Josh. I'm here today with Frank. Yep. And I'm also here today with Ruben, otherwise known as the Don Juan Rubadon. Hey, how you doing? Oh, you know, doing great, doing great. <clears throat> and if you want to know how great we're doing in general, you can go to GameRageMagazine.com where you can hear all of our podcasts and see all of our content. If you want to follow us on social media, you can go to at GameRageMagazine on Instagram and TikTok, at GameRageMag on Twitter slash X, and if you want to follow Frank, you can go to Anime underscore Syndicate underscore Podcast, and also listen to the Anime Syndicate Podcast, because it's a fun one if you like the animes. If you like video games, you probably like anime. Isn't that right, Ruben? <laughs> yes, that's absolutely right. Yep. See, there you go. Anyways. All right. So today we are going to talk and continue the series of Halo. <laughs> and we're going to go for Halo number two, which came out November 9th, 2004, which was... Three years after the previous game, Halo, Combat Evolved. This is the one that changed, that put Halo back on, that put Halo on the map, honestly. Not that Halo 1 wasn't great, but this was the one that, like, blew it up. Yeah, this is what, and, and the reason was because this was... The first Halo game that shipped with the ability to play online multiplayer through Xbox Live. Hmm. Because you couldn't play on the original Halo on Xbox Live. You could play local multiplayer, mm -hmm. but they didn't have like Xbox, uh, Xbox Live capability. So, um, I, I believe, I want to say, that that was two, it was a two disc game and multiplayer was on one of the, the second disc, right? <laughs> Do you remember? Hmm? Do you remember? What? Was it, It wasn't it a two disc game? I think Halo 2 was a two disc game. And that was where, and I think the main campaign was, it was two discs worth. But I think you had to take and put in the second disc when you got to a certain point in the storyline, if I remember right. Thanks. I know there's a I know a bunch of GameCube games like that because they were so small. Yeah, I feel like Halo Two was a two disc game. I mean, I could be wrong because you know usually are true. Halo Two, two disc. Oh no, that's not it. Halo, Halo Two disc game. Think, right a two disc game anyways Ru Ruben when when was the first time you played Halo number two so it looks like Halo 2 yeah there was two discs in the collector's edition but there was extra content okay that was that was why I didn't think it was two because I had I got that one because that one had uh, that one came with something I feel like maybe it was just the extra content so yeah, I came in that set that steelbook case. Yeah, I never got I only I never got to buy I never bought Halo 2, so I only played it through the rentals. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, when did you play when did you first play Halo uh, 2? Was that the first Halo game you played? And it was yeah, it's either Halo 2 or Reach was the first Halo game I got introduced to. 
<clears throat> mm, yeah, Halo 2. I definitely started playing that sometime during my elementary days. My time were a little wet age, though. Because I do remember Halo 2 also did introduce a couple of new, like, I don't know if you want to call them game mechanics, but... Into the Halo franchise? Yes. Yeah, I guess you could call it game mechanics, right? Yeah. Like, that'd probably be the best. That's what it's called. Yeah. Descriptor. And one of those was Flight, right? Oh, yeah, Flight the Banshee. Banshee. Because you couldn't do that in Halo 1. Could you? I feel like you could. I feel, see. This is this is where it gets tricky. And this, I think, I think because people, there's three fucking uh, updates to these games. Well, I think, yeah, I think that I think that people who are Halo fans also pro- that were alive and played it when it first came out and played Anniversary and then played the Master Chief Collection. We all have this hard time remembering what actually happened because they changed the multiplayer shit in like. The anniversary they like updated it so because the the anniversary edition the multiplayer version of it yeah you could like the single player version you could you know bounce back and forth between the og original as it was and then you could do like this new high-end yeah like the current times upgrade right and the multiplayer you couldn't do that obviously because you're playing online so you couldn't just switch back and forth between the fucking modes but they upgraded it with shit that was like in the current Halo stuff for multiplayer. So yeah, you had all the maps and stuff that they had redone, but I think they added like other shit that you didn't have like available during the original like Basically like stuff. more weapons or more vehicles than you would have. Than you yeah, had like there was game. different like because they could because they could add it now because <laughs> I think that was one of the part of the, the limitation as to like what you could have on certain maps. Which is why you couldn't have vehicles on like every single map, and not, not just because of the map size, but just because I don't think the game could like support more than like two vehicles or three vehicles or whatever. But in like the anniversary, you could have like you could have the fucking the, you could have a mongoose, you could have a fucking uh, warthog, you could have the fucking banshee, you could have all these shits out there at the same. You could have the tank, you could have them all at like, the same time. And I don't think you could do those in the original fucking multiplayer. So apparently you had the model and everything was set up for it, but it just, it was never implemented. For the Banshee? Yeah. Yeah, but you couldn't play it. You Uh, couldn't get in it until Halo 2. That's lucky, yeah. Right, yeah. Because I remember in Halo 2, there was that whole level where you were just flying around trying to kill fucking... um, Other Banshees. Yeah, other the Heretic guy, yeah. Yeah. Which was fucking cool, man. That That was a cool... Thing that you weren't like, because when I was playing Halo, obviously I was going in from the you know first person shooter mindset, but I wasn't expecting to then be playing like a flight simulator game and also fucking dogfighting with other motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah and then you and then randomly finding out you can do freaking barrel rolls, oh, flips, and then also that it had a missile that you could shoot. <laughs> well, it wasn't a missile; it was like a well, it was like a plasma torpedo. rocket or something. I guess. Yeah, it was. Just, it was not. It couldn't lock on. Yeah, it was a plasma torpedo. Yeah, but you could, like, they they changed that. Didn't they take that away in the future? I think so, on the Halo 3. Like, they took it out. Like, you couldn't do it. With the, the freaking, um, the cannon? No, they took it out of, like, in the in the game. Like, you couldn't, like, you couldn't shoot a photon torpedo or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, plasma torpedo. You couldn't, like, do it anymore in, like, the future they games. Did, they did bring it back, though, if I remember correctly. Maybe, yeah, I'm sure they did. But I remember there was a couple of games where you couldn't, like, you couldn't do it. Like, yeah. They didn't. <laughs> Exist if I remember right in multiplayer or in the single player version. Because yeah, because I, I remember that being a thing of four and probably three, unless it was that's an anniversary thing. But I don't know. Did Halo Three get an anniversary edition? They all did. Remember? Yeah, yeah. The, the anniversary collection has all all the main Halo games, including yeah. There was the Master Chief collection and then the one that just came out recently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, dual wielding. That was the other thing that it fucking introduced. And then it went away afterwards, too. <laughs> Which I thought was stupid, man. Nobody I, nobody liked it, dude. Dude, I loved the dual wielding. Yeah, that was, that was the coolest thing. It was cool as shit. You could literally take two SMGs and just unload on some fucking assholes, yeah, some yeah, elites that, or some brutes. Yeah, that was one of my favorite ones to do wield. Those, those two SMGs. Yeah. Well, there was the noob combo where you had you the plasma pistol and the SMG. Oh yeah, because the plasma pistol will get rid of the energy shield, and then, yeah. the, and then you just let, and you, you take out the rest of them. Yeah. Um. Or the freaking double needlers. 
Yeah, true. Uh, also, hijacking vehicles was something that I think they introduced. Well, yeah, because you couldn't, you couldn't use the vehicles in the other one. Right, you couldn't you'd do that, so they introduced. Well, I mean, you could use the warthog, use the warthog, but like you couldn't hijack it. But now you could hijack vehicles, like people. You get on the ghost, you fucking take people down. Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then also there was no health bar. They got rid of that from the first game. It was only the shield bar. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah, and then and then like whatever little health they gave you, they could try to hide from so you wouldn't go all just get killed. Yeah, pretty much. But like that's and that was one of the things that I thought was kinda of cool that they changed. Was that okay? That that does add a little more realism to it, I guess, because if you're if you have this shield and it takes the damage and then you're you you lose the shield, well then yeah, you're exposed to enemy fire and you could you just probably die like immediately. Um, oh, and it had the uh, co-op in the campaign. It offered campaign co-op. Mm-hmm. Well, you could do that in the first one. You could? Yeah, there was a, there was that whole thing where if you did the... Because you know the cutscene where Master Chief is awakened, the, the pod opens? Yeah. They had the same thing, but if you did it with two players, it was two pods. Oh, I got you. Mm-hmm. I think that was the first one to do maybe online co-op? Or no, that was Halo 3, I think. No, I think that was Halo 3, yeah. Um, and then this game also introduced you playing as another character. Because oh, this yeah, the you started to play as the Arbiter, and you got the introduction to the Arbiter's storyline, which, I mean, to me, say what you want, but the Arbiter is almost just as important of a figure in the lore as the Master Chief is. <laughs> because in the, at the end of the day, and obviously we'll get to Halo 3 in, in, in the next episode we do, but, you know, the Master Chief found an, an ally in the Arbiter at the end. But in this mm-hmm. game, you were strict enemies. The Arbiter was fucking disgraced, and he was... He failed to protect the ring. Yeah, which it was his job to protect the well, ring. He was the... Uh, f- oh, fuck, what's the name? Fleetmaster? Yeah, Fleet Fleetmaster. Yeah, Fleet, I think it was Fleetmaster, yeah. Yeah, because that the guy that... Because then you play with the guy who took his job. yeah. Oh, there's that brute. No, no, not the brute. It was the the white elite, right? Yeah, the one that was missing one of his jowls. One of his little fucking jaw mandibles or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Yeah, mandibles, yeah. I have jaws. Jowls. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, that was cool as shit. To see the, like, to see him when he's brought out and, like, he's he's literally having his fucking trial and he's wearing no armor. He's, like, basically butt-ass naked. And they they pull him in front of the fucking, uh, the Covenant, uh, the High Council or whatever they were called, the Prophets. Oh, yeah. And then they basically pass judgment on him. And instead of killing him, which was going to be his death sentence, they sentence him to essentially becoming the Arbiter. Which the Arbiter is... A, a, a suicidal um, Templar. Yeah. Essentially. <laughs> Basically to do the will of the High Council and the Prophets and just go on suicide mission after suicide mission. Yeah. And the intent is that they will die. In, to, in order to gain their honor back. Yeah. And so... The Arbiter actually exceeds all the complete expectations mm-hmm. in the end. But... Yeah... That game was fucking super, super fucking fun, man. Like, even the multiplayer was cool. Um, Um, Which is funny for me, because if I remember correctly, Halo 2 was actually my first Halo game. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. So that's for me why Halo 1 is kind of a... I had, like, a mixed feeling with it. Yeah. Because I went from Halo 2, which was considered to be... Probably the it's like by law considered to be one of, if not the best, of the Halo franchise games. Yeah. Going to Halo One, which is considered probably to be the worst of the Halo franchises. Yeah, true. Which also another thing that Halo Two kind of, I, w- I don't know if they invented this, but they implemented it very very early on, which was matchmaking. Yeah. Most games at the time, you had to just go. And there was like a list of game lobbies, and then like you'd have to oh, find mm-hmm. one, and then you'd have to try and get in, and like. Back in the day, you could you could set private lobbies. So, like, if you wanted to play, like, quote-unquote online with just, like, your friends, you could set up a private lobby in most other games, and then you could just give them, like, a password to join. Or if it was a bootleg-ass game, they wouldn't even have a password, and you'd have to just constantly pick, kick people out until your friends could fucking join in, and then let whoever else in. Um, but matchmaking was not a common occurrence back then. Now, yeah, this is the, this is the early era of multiplayer. Early. 
era of internet multiplayer because before and this is kind of an interesting factor too it, it was only on pc was, yeah you could only like no console could really no, legitimately play that's, online that's not true well, the dreamcast the gamecube too well the dreamcast like started and if i remember correctly i think the n60 i'm not sure about the n64 but i know for a fact, the GameCube had that bottom adapter where yeah, you can, you can get connect the network. To the internet. Now, I think the NES or one of those had one, but it was meant to be like it wasn't meant to be multiplayer, but it was allowing you to go on the internet to like buy things or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so I don't. And what I'm saying is, is that this was the time when this multiplayer is the one, became Xbox is the nobody was ever no one's ever going to give it credit, especially the fucking Sony marks. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Bless you. Huh, there's usually 12. Oh, I know I was going to say they come in threes. <laughs> um, <laughs> Microsoft didn't pioneer it. Micro- I'm right. not going to say that. But they revolutionized it. Oh, they definitely did. I mean, well, because it gave every console the ability to play on the internet. Mm-hmm. Like, that was one of the things from the gate. The Xbox was built in with that capability well now, the granted, xbox 360 was that's what, well, that's what i'm saying the xbox one was later I, I think it took the firmware update for it to work right but it was they had the ethernet connection already there now they didn't know what necessarily i think they were going to do with it but once they figured out people wanted to start playing online together that's when they said oh shit like thank god we fucking built this into the thing um, yeah, it was the second Dreamcast was the first. Yeah, that was the first one to actually like have online legit like to have a bu- built in mo. It had a built in modem. Modem, yeah. And where like, the Xbox, you had to work off your own actual ISP modem. Right, because I remember. Um, or no, I think the Xbox One had that adapter that you can buy. No, that was to turn it Wi-Fi. That was to oh. turn it into a wireless router where you could pick up your Wi-Fi. That was on the 360. Remember that little thing you could buy and it clipped into the back yeah, of the yeah, console. Yeah. And that was to make it so you didn't have to hardwire it. That's what we had to do for you, remember, before we yeah. could play on the trailer? Yeah, we had to fucking, we had to get the little Wi-Fi adapter so we could connect to the internet so we could play online with the Xbox 360, which is insane to think about. That was in fucking 2000 fucking what? Seven? When did the Xbox 360 come out? I don't know, but 2001 was when the Dreamcast came out. Yeah. Oh, it got discontinued, well, sorry. Yeah, I think it was like the late 90s. I don't get how it feels, man. It sold 19, 19, 9.1 million consoles. Yeah, it's a shit ton. And... <laughs> I, I, that's the one thing too that we didn't have an episode dedicated to the just fucking to Dreamcast. Dreamcast. I think yeah, you're right. I think you're right. That's a good idea. I fucking love that console. So do I, man. It's so great. Like I wish, say, and this is the one thing, man. This is gonna fucking go into a tangent, but just really quickly, I really wish Sega would continue would have continued making consoles. I wish they'd make a new console. Like I would buy that shit, hands down. Doesn't matter. I'm buying it. Like, if they just started out again and just said, fuck it, we're going to do Sega Genesis again and just we're going to make a modern version of it, oh, I'm in 100%. But I think N- Nintendo partially owns or owns part of Sega or something like that. I think Sega, sorry, got, what? I think Sega got bought, is owned by somebody. No, they're, right? no, I don't think so. I think they're still their own thing. They just don't, they're just not reveling in the gaming industry anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Anyways, um, yeah. So first, the first internet connection for the Xbox came on the Xbox console. Yeah, on November fifteenth, two thousand and two. Yeah, the original Xbox. <laughs> yeah, and then it comes with built-in Wi-Fi until the Xbox One. Xbox One, because again, yeah, the three. Oh no, no. Later Xbox 360 Elite. Built in. The Elite, right? Yeah, the Xbox yeah. 360 Elite. My uh, Gears of War 3 Xbox yeah. 360 had it built in. I didn't have to buy that little fucking adapter anymore. Yeah, I remember that because you bought that. What was it? The Xbox 360 was what? For the sake of conversation, not actual price, let's say it was $150. Okay. And then the Gears of War one was like 300 Yeah, I think it was like, oh no. I think it was only like $50 more. Yeah. So I, I, think I think in reality, I think in reality, yeah, I think in reality was it was in reality it was two ninety nine, and then it was three fifty for the for the Xbox, for the, the Gears of Box, Gears of War one, and I remember Gears of Box, yeah, because because I, I remember I gave you a hundred bucks so you could upgrade to it so I can get you, the, and I gave you my old console, yeah, because yours you had blew the up. Halo, yeah, no, uh, mine blew up, yeah, yours blew up, and so I gave you my 
Xbox 360. Which then, a few months later, I traded in to get the Xbox, get the, the, the Halo edition. The Halo one. edition of the, the Halo 4 edition, right? Yeah, the no. Xbox Elite? The Halo 3. Halo 4 came out on the Xbox One, or I think it came out towards the end of the Xbox 360. Yeah, one. I think Halo 4 was on the Xbox 360. Like I think it came sure. out the end. I think it was it was on both. All right, hold on. Let's just look it up. Since this is Halo related, we can, yeah. we can go on a tangent about this. <laughs> All Why are you doing that? I'm going to use the restroom. Halo consoles... So can we take a quick bio break? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll pause it while I look that up here. Yeah. Okay, all right, so we're back. But <laughs> while, while I was looking this up, I just I just looked up, uh, this is going to be a tangent of limited edition Xbox consoles for a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was just looking it up just so I could see which ones, like the Halo ones were on. So for, this is the original Xbox. They had a limited edition Mountain Dew Xbox, which is all lime green. <laughs> They had it was ninety nine fucking dollars. It came out in two thousand four. It was a hundred fucking dollars. That's how much you could buy a console for in two thousand <laughs> oh fucking gosh. four. Was a well, hundred dollars. Me- well, you remember how Nintendo was like because when the Xbox three six the Xbox three sixty and the PS two right mm-hmm, mm-hmm. came out, they were three hundred two hundred dollars, and Nintendo was like, you know what, we're gonna make the GameCube and we're gonna make it a hundred dollars. Say fuck you. Yeah. I had a GameCube. I fucking loved it. Yeah, the GameCube was fucking awesome. And then we had an unreleased Halo Combat Evolved Limited Edition, which for some fucking reason was orange. And then it just had the Halo logo. Do you um? Do you remember? Huh? Do you remember who was the presenter of the of the Xbox when they announced it? Oh man. Hold on a minute. I'll give you one. It was Bill Gates and somebody else. A yeah, special I, guest. It was The Rock. That's yes. Right. Yeah, it was The Rock. I remember now. Yeah. <laughs> Back when he was The Rock. Yeah. Not when he was Dwayne the Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne <laughs> the simp, Rock. Simp for Charlie and the Rich. Yeah. For Charlie, for the Chinese. <laughs> Man, they had fucking, Jesus Christ, the translucent green one. I love that. That one would look so cool. $1,500, man. Right now? It says retail price. I think that was when it was when it was new. Fifteen hundred. Yeah, they only made twenty thousand of them. Mm. That's a lot of money. Um, and then they had another translucent green one, which was the Halo version. That one was two hundred dollars retail price. When it God, was do you remember? Do you remember that mammoth size controller? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> that the Duke controller, whatever it's called. It was huge, dude. It was huge. <laughs> yeah, that thing was massive. Man. They have a lot of fucking... Okay, so that's the original Xbox. Okay, so now we have to do... What is it? Xbox, every X special edition Halo Xbox console. Let's see here. <laughs> All right, so we have the Halo Reach one, which was an Xbox 360. Okay, so Halo 3 yeah. one was definitely... Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the huge. Reach one? Was that the one you got? Was the Reach one? No. Mine it was, was gray, wasn't it? I think it was Halo... No, it was green with the... And it was the 360. It had the hard drive. You know, remember the hard drive that's removable? Yeah, that was the original one that you got. Yeah, no, the original one I got was a white. It was the original boring ass white one. Then it got it got bricked. You know, the three rings of death. Yeah. And then I bought your white one, and then I used right. that. Then I traded it in to get the uh, Halo one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Why is this not showing? <laughs> this is the stupid. You know, I just want to say, Game Rant, you're you, you're fucking up, man. You're not even showing me all the shit. You're just showing me this one. And now that's it. And then the article's over. Fucking you clickbaited me, goddammit. Uh, so they had to upset. Um, they had to re-release a new controller because everybody was complaining about the controller. So this was the new one. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> and then you can tell by the size that that's where the 360 got its shape from. Yeah. <laughs> Piece what is of shit. the list of every Xbox? Okay, so all Halo edition consoles. Speaking of which, did you see the fucking uh, the Wolverine Deadpool X- Xbox? Yeah, with the controller that's his ass. Yeah, that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so you're talking about this green one, right? That's the one with the fucking detachable hard drive on it. Yeah, with the gold. Yeah, that was for the Halo Two one. Okay. Was it for Halo 2? No, that was for Halo, Halo 3. 3. Yeah. That was for Halo 3. Cuz I yeah, cuz I bought that red Gears of War, man. That Gears of, and then, you remember the you remember That one the, had like deep like you had like things like sticking out of it and shit. Well, no, okay. That was an add-on that I purchased. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah okay, right. cuz that was the that was the cooling kit that you could buy from some fucking company 
I forget, what, what I forget what the name of it was called. Mad, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't Mad Cats. It was some other company, and all they did was make console armor. I oh. think the company might have been called Console Armor. And they made these things that you could like attach to the console that encased it in like this this hard plastic shell. So like, I don't know if you dropped it, fuck, it's still gonna break your console, mm-hmm. but like. It's it cool. made it look cool. Yeah, it just, made it look it made cool. It made it look cool. So, like, on the outside, the Gears of War, it was the logo. It was, like, this protruding 3D logo of, like, the Gears of War skull. The cog symbol, yeah. And the cog symbol. Mm-hmm. And it had this, like, fucking glow shit effect to it. And it was connected to your Xbox. So, I remember, you did turned that, it on. Didn't that glow shit only last, like, a week? No, that shit lasted for a while. I broke it, and I eventually just got rid of it. But, because it was, it was a piece of shit just in general. But the glow shit worked. When you would turn on the console... Because it was connected to your Xbox, the special edition Xbox 360s all made different noises. So when you turned it on, the startup noise was different than the dee Like, it was different, right? It wasn't the same one. And when you pushed the button, it wasn't that noise. It was a special noise. So the Gears of War one had the, like, Gears of War, like, startup noise when it was like, da 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 like, or whatever, when you turn it on. And then when you pushed the thing to open it, it was that, like, like, when you die, that little horn. And so when you would do it, <laughs> It, since it was connected and it knew what was happening, it, the thing on the side would like do a pattern of light that was like in line with the fucking stuff, and it would just kind of just glow and pulse. It was fucking cool as shit. And I'm sad that they don't make those anymore, but I you don't really. I oh, now they do. They, they're called skins. Yeah, yeah, but that's stupid. All right? The PlayStation makes those too. But... Yeah, those are stupid. That's one of the things that I miss is about the Xbox 360. You remember the fucking face <laughs> plates that you yeah. could change out? Dude, I had when the new when that original Transformers movie came out in like 2007, mm-hmm. I had the the barricade the, the police car Decepticon. Mm-hmm. I had I had his and then I had a Starscream one and then a Megatron one. Man, those were fucking cool as hell. <laughs> I'm sad that you can't really do that. Man, this this new generation <laughs> this, this, you can't customize your actual console. Oh, you can put some stickers on it. Nah, oh, man, give me something like tangible. But anyways, back to Halo Two. <laughs> so, yeah, Halo Two on the original Xbox, playing fucking multiplayer, playing on Xbox Live. That was the whole reason. Halo Two was the reason I made a bank account. Like I'm not <laughs> fucking around. Like Halo Two was precisely the exact reason. Why I made and had a bank account opened up in my name. Because I did not have a bank account until Halo 2 came around. (laughs) And the only reason I needed that is because my mom would not let me use her credit card to have an Xbox Live account. Because you needed to put in a credit card information to have the recurring price of Xbox Live. Which I believe, I I need to look this up, but I believe it was $9.99 a month. For Xbox Live. Now, Grant, um, don't before you go. Oh, that's great. <laughs> think about this. Okay, right now it's what sixteen ninety nine for Xbox Live and the Game Pass combined, right? Something like that. I don't, I don't Price is going to go up. I think it's going to be like twenty dollars. Yeah. Okay, twenty dollars a month. You get access to play online to every game, and you get access to a library of thousands of free games. That also you get day one games like Call of Duty. You get all this shit with the current Xbox. Game Pass and live subscription, right? Back in 2004, your Xbox live subscription, you know what that got you? You got to go on the internet. For $10, it gave you the right to connect to the internet and play with other people online. That's it. For $10 a month, you got, that's all you got. And so, like, what's fucked is assholes like, this is why Microsoft can do this shit now and raise the prices, because assholes like us sit there and go, oh, well, wait a minute, because because when when Xbox Live changed, because that just happened what Recently, last year, yeah. like that it changed to where Xbox Live is no more. It's now just Game Pass, and you could have just a nine ninety nine subscription of Xbox Live, but it was like, why not pay five dollars more and get access to all these fucking games? And assholes like us are like, shit, that's only fifty percent more, and all we were getting before was just access to the internet. Like that's all we were getting was allowing the console to connect to the internet so we could play online. And granted, it was kind of bullshit too because now most games you have to have an Xbox Live connection to play them. Yep. Or you had to have that. Now, for the low, low price of whatever twenty bucks a month, you get access to the internet and all the bullshit that you could possibly want. 
So for us, we're just like, oh, that's that's a great deal. That's a great deal because considering before in 2000, for literally 20 fucking years, I've had my Xbox Live account for 20 fucking years, man. This year in November, it'll be 20 years because it was November of 2024, or I'm sorry, 2004 when I bought my ex when I first made my Xbox Live subscription. So it, my account will be like 20 fucking years old on whatever November of this year, I think. <laughs> so think about that. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. So yeah. in other words. Josh is old. I'm old. But yeah, that Xbox Live is the whole, or Halo 2 is the whole reason I got a bank account. Hey, good reason. That's a good point. I mean, it's good enough, I guess, right? Yeah, but now the government owns you. That's true. And that's, that's when I got put into the system. Had a social security number given to me. I was off grid before that. I, I literally got on grid just to get into fucking Halo 2. Just so I could play online. Um, but anyways... <laughs> What was funny is that Halo was never actually planned to be a, a trilogy, a trilogy or sequels. It was just the one game. Yeah. But since it was so fucking popular, and one of the genius things, maybe it's I don't know if it's genius or if it's luck, but Bungie got lucky, and the game was bundled with a lot of fucking consoles. <laughs> that was one of the like every like I know. That's the only reason I played Halo Combat Evolved was because it came with the console when I bought it. And I'm like, oh, cool, a free game. Remember that? You remember when you used to buy consoles and they'd come with one free game? Then it became two free games you could get fucking console? Like, <laughs> and the games would be in the fucking box. Like, that was the coolest shit ever. Mm-hmm. You open it up and you got two games there. Man, I'm getting some fucking nostalgia feels right now <laughs> for you, the original Xbox games. You remember the green that was the case? It was yeah. that green color. Man, opening that up and seeing that whole interior just be green and then you got this disc there and you're like, oh shit, what's about to happen? I'm about to play some fucking games. Hell yeah. <laughs> now we don't even fucking have discs. <laughs> hey, you just download everything on the internet. Yeah, it's just downloadable codes now that come with it. Yeah, our internet is. I mean, granted, it's the greatness of how internet has improved over the years. Because I'll tell you right now, on the Xbox One, the original Xbox. Oh, I gotta look this up because I want to make sure I'm I'm right. Uh, Ethernet port speed. Yeah, uh, it was 100 m bits. It wasn't even the. It was, it was like the lower than the than that one. The whatever it is now. Kilo, kil, kilobytes? Kil, yeah. Or, like no, what's lower than that? That's bigger than that. No, no kil- kilobytes is kilobytes is smaller than megabytes. And then gigabytes is where we're at right now. Yeah. How fast is Xbox? Oh that's Xbox. Yeah, Xbox Series X has gigabit gigabit yeah. internet or Ethernet. Uh I'm trying to find out why. Oh yeah, it was 10 Mbps. That was the original speed. Of the original Xbox. Which is oh, no, wait. 90% slower than what's available right now. I'm sorry. That's in 1980. That's fucking terrible. Oh. How powerful was the original Xbox? God, dude. Okay. The original Xbox had a 733 megahertz Intel Pentium 3 CPU, man. It was it was in mega, <laughs> 733 megahertz. <laughs> it's measured in gigahertz and teraflops now. Like... <sighs> That's uh, yeah. The, the graphics card was a two hundred and thirty three megahertz graphics card. <laughs> that was fucking crazy. Yeah. Also, you remember Halo Two wasn't this? Maybe maybe we should save this for Halo Three, or maybe we should do another episode. HD DVD. Yeah, because, that was for the three sixty, but that's. <laughs> failed miserably because, only because of two reasons and they said in Tropic Thunder yeah because two industries were the ones that chose the two industries needed to sur- for it to survive chose Blu-ray which was video games yeah and porn and porn yep <laughs> man I kind of want to do I don't know how what the what the logistics of this would be because I do have an Xbox 360 <laughs> 
And I'm sure we could find an HD DVD drive because I do not have the HD DVD drive. Yeah, well, can you find an HD DVD? Yeah, I'm sure they're on fucking eBay. Like, I would like to do a comparison of... Because I still have my PS... No, you have the P. Do you still have the PS3? No, that was a long time ago, bro. Did you get rid of it? Probably when I moved. Maybe. Well, either way, we could buy a PS3 on eBay. Yeah, I think I think we still have it. You have a PS3? Yeah, it's, it's downstairs. Perfect. We can use that, so we don't have to buy one, and we do a, a screen to screen comparison of HD DVD to Blu-ray of whatever fucking movie. Because I have. Fucking Blu-rays from like that time period still, so like we could just pick that movie and then find it on HD DVD online, on eBay or some shit. Like let's. Well, do the drive you can find for like twenty five bucks for the Xbox three sixty. Yeah. Oh, that's fucking good. All right. Whether or not it works, I don't know. Transformers HD DVD. All right, let's see. Fourteen ninety five. All right, <laughs> for fifteen dollars we can get it on fucking eBay. So. If the Xbox would have came standard with oh, the HD drive, yep, that would have been a game. Because because remember that HD DVD thing was two hundred dollars, and then PlayStation Three was just coming with the Blu-ray drive. Built in with a Blu-ray player at a time when it was twelve hundred dollars to get a Blu-ray player. So granted, while Sony was being a fuckbag and charging seven ninety nine for fucking PlayStation Threes, it was still a hell of a lot cheaper than a Blu-ray player, and you got a video game console on top. Of yeah. It. So well, that was always the selling point for that generation was that. Hey, I can pay two hundred bucks for a DVD player, or I can pay three hundred bucks for an Xbox, and it's gonna play the DVD, and I can play video games. Yeah, so it's like you're paying for the DVD player and getting an Xbox. Oh, which you remember? Probably, which probably was the downfall of the GameCube. Yeah, probably because you couldn't play DVD because they used the mini discs. Mini discs, yeah. Mm-hmm. You remember on the OG Xbox, if you wanted to play DVDs in it, you had to buy that adapter so you could have the remote. I don't remember. I, I wasn't rich. I I was well, lucky I had the base Xbox. I will say this. The adapter was only $25. Mm-hmm. And it was this little fucking thing that plugged into the controller slot. And I didn't have a lot, dude. I didn't have a job until I was fucking 20, in the age 17. I guess that's I guess that's true. I was umpiring shit. So that's, yeah. how, I was, that's how I was able to buy any of this shit was when I was a kid. because I just was an umpire. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, it came with this little, it had this little fucking thing. And you could, you stuck it in one of the controller ports. And it came with a remote. Mm-hmm. And then once you did that, you could put DVDs in there. And un- like the thing that was inside the infrared sensor that you plug into the remote, it like unlocks something thing to where you play DVD <laughs> or some shit like that. And then you could use the fucking, because you couldn't use the controller to control like the DVD. You had to have the stupid mm-hmm. remote or some shit like that, which was cool, which was cool. I don't but remember that, so I don't Xbox know. Three, and, or the next one, the Xbox 360, they built in the DVD <laughs> drive so you could play. DVDs and shit. Sure. It, who made the the HD DVD drive? That's a good question. Ooh. Who you made think? HD yeah, DVD? Checking the cat. Mm. Is she even up there? Nah. Nope. Who made HD DVD? Toshiba and NEC announced their competing standard advanced optical disc. It was adopted by the DVD forum and renamed to HD DVD next year. So it was Toshiba that basically made. They need, they should have made a deal with that Microsoft man. They should have. They fucked up. Because if they would have done that, that would have been a legitimate competition. Because there was no way Xbox was going to pay Sony to have a Blu-ray drive at the time. Oh, absolutely not. Now they have no choice. Yeah, Blu-ray is now the standard. Yeah. Which is now being replaced by just digital. Yeah. 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 Now, now the, none of it see, matters. Did you see that whole thing with the Amazon Fire Stick? Uh-uh. You can... Uh, you can buy their bundle now that you can play Xbox off of it. Oh, really? It's coming with like a controller or something? Controller. Oh, is it the like Game this, Pass. the cloud gaming? Yeah. Damn. It's the Game Pass, too. That's crazy. I will say those fire sticks are hot garbage, <laughs> and I hate them. That's why I, that's why I had a, I had to switch from that to Broku. Yeah, I, listen, I, I've blown through maybe, fuck, three or four fire sticks because they just shit out and they just stop working. Mm-hmm. For no reason, too. It's like the strangest shit. Roku, I had this one fucking Roku, and it's lasted me for years. Mm -hmm. Um, And I fucked that shit up, too. I beat the shit out of this fucking Roku, and it's done wonders for me. The only thing that sucks about Roku, I mean, this is a whole other side topic, but anyways, back to Halo 2. I'm kind of interested. Oh, about what? What's the thing about Roku? Well, the thing about Roku is 
that you can't um you can't crack it crack it or whatever oh like you can't with the fire stick yeah that's the only benefit to the fire stick is you could put um what's that shit called cody uh, cody on there because that's the whole th- that, that's why i only was buying fire sticks to begin with was putting that on there after they would shit out i would just re reboot them and then delete everything and then start all over and then until it shit out again and then i throw it out and buy a new one and just put cody on there and then that's when i started buying the roku to to watch real stuff on so yeah well now well you had to buy one for this one because it didn't come with the because this isn't a roku tv right no it's not it's i mean because remember vizio <laughs> wasn't putting they didn't have an app store yeah. so when you got whatever they wanted to let you have on there mm-hmm. As it still kind of is now, they just upgraded and they have more shit that you could have. But it's still better to have a Roku, I think, in my opinion. I have a Roku TV, and that's that's why I stopped buying the Roku sticks. What brand is the TV? TCL. Hmm. Mm. They're cheap and they last. Yeah. Um, I got I got mine when it was new, which was the uh, 4K TVs. Uh-huh. They make the the UHDs and the um, whatever the other one is. Yeah, yeah, and they're not that Q, the QHD QLED. Yeah, but I mean they're 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 not cheap, but they're cheaper than what like Sony is or whatever. Yeah, that's true. You know, TVs are an important factor in playing video games too. You know, not anymore, man. Because again, Xbox made that deal with um, Meta. Oh yeah, with their VR headsets. So now you can play Xbox off of those anywhere. And like they're showing, they're showing it in the game. Wait, have you have you done that yet? Have you played with it on your Meta? Or, do you have the Meta? Oh, he has the the Valve one. Oh, huh? the, Oculus. the Oculus. Yeah, yeah, Oculus Quest. Oh. man, but, I might buy a Meta fucking helmet just to fucking. Yeah, because they were showing the guy playing. He's like, or they were saying like, yo, you could just change the size of the screen to whatever size TV you would want it to be. That's fucking cool, man. <laughs> That's not just thinking. You could just be laying down in bed just. That's th- that's the the first step to nerve gear, all right? Like, well, they already have one. It's, it's got like three little cylinders. So if you die, all three of them fire a projectile into your brain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the best. That's yeah. right. That's hilarious. <laughs> fucking psychopathic, psychopathic, psychotic. Fucking hits it. Yeah. Yeah, we're all fucking psychotic, anyways. Just you, Josh. Don't don't judge us by your stick. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, uh, Halo Two, fucking excellent game. Yeah, it's a good game. I can love the story. Action was great. Multiplayer was f- a fucking game changer. Yeah, it really was. I know they didn't do this for Halo 2, but I think that they should make games now where you mandatorily have to beat the single player mode if it has one uh-huh. before you... It, like, you have to do that to unlock multiplayer. Yeah. I think that should be mandatory on every fucking game that has a single player mode. Nope. You gotta fucking beat the story mode, and then you can play online with your friends. Because I, if I had a video game, I would do it like that. But I would make the multiplayer like a an extension to the the campaign. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's in addition to the story. Right. Yeah. So therefore, that's why you have to unlock unlock it. Yeah. And that's what that's what multiplayer used to be. It was an enhancement. It was when after you beat the game, you had something now you could go do instead of having to just play the game. It was an game. accident, dude. Like it wasn't even supposed. Multiplayer gaming was not supposed to be a thing. Like, true. The guys that that did rare man. Yeah. They fucking made multiplayer in GoldenEye and fucking revolutionized the gaming industry. True. By accident. Because <laughs> they were told, no, you can't do this. Yeah. And the guy says, fuck it, let's just do it. What are they gonna do? Tell us. To make people unbuy the game. Yeah, that's true. And then you know what's funny is 1999 was when that game came out, mm-hmm. and 2004 was hit. so. In just five years, we went from that to Halo Two. Online. I don't know if it was the first game to have multiplayer, but it was the one that they put it on the map for sure. Well, it wasn't online multiplayer, but it was yeah. like any it, it, like that co or not co op, but I don't think it definitely was not the first game because I think there were other games prior. I mean, shit, you used to be able to play Mario two players. Yeah, well, I mean, like multiplayer, like uh, as in like competitive. Oh. But I think the first one they're saying was this game called OXO, which was some kind of weird version of Tic Tac Toe. Interesting. Pop Quiz, Ruben, what was the first video game console ever made? First video game console. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, I don't think Josh knows the answer either. I don't think I do either. <laughs> Who is it made by? 
Was it Atari? Nope. Uh, was it ColecoVision? Nope. Uh, was it made by Apple? No. I don't know. Or Macintosh at the time? Nope. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Video game console. I'll say the name of the guy who the guy who made video game console proper. Yes, proper. Okay. <laughs> the company that made it was Magnavox. Magnavox is that the one that had the the wired controller and you? It was they like all a dial? did. They, they all did. No, no, it was like a dial. Yeah. It was like built into the thing. You couldn't unplug it. And yeah. It was like this dial. And the Atari was like that too. Like, is it like, yeah. like, like a fucking joystick kind of thing? Or? No, it's a little dial, like you know, like a dimmer switch on a light. Yeah. Oh. It was like a circular dim- dimmer switch was what you had to move around with. Oh, I got no, I got no fucking idea. I've never heard of that. I don't, what I, I don't remember what it's called, but I know what you're talking about. It's called the Magnavox Odyssey. Odyssey, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it was created by Ralph Baer, who escaped Nazi Germany and fled to America. To make video games. Oh, no, to make animatronics. Ah. And he just did it off. Of, he made that console off of a fucking whim. Damn. And then fucking, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, Ralph Bear, the father of video games. True story. <laughs> Anyways, you guys got anything else to say about Halo Dose? Hmm. I remember. <laughs> that was when you started hanging out too. Yeah. That was the first time we went to your. I went to your house. Yeah, we fucking. We we're just playing fucking Halo Two. Halo Dose. Hmm. Halo the Dose. Fucking so, some of the best fucking lines in video games too, like the whole. Oh yeah, man. Goes Master Chief. I want this coming in off my station. Yes, sir. Turns to Johnson. I need a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> sir, yeah. permission to leave the station. What for? To, to give the, the covenant, covenant back their bomb. <laughs> <laughs> permission granted, Chief. <laughs> you Chief, know. You mind telling me what you're doing with that shit, sir? Finishing the this fight. fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, when he lands on the ship. And there's both keys in uh, fucking Johnson look up. Huh. For a brick, he flies pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you've all you all dealt with the simulations. Because they're not they're not impossible to oh wait, that was three. When he fought the scarab. No, that's two. No, that's, that's two. two. That was two the first time he yeah. fought the scarab. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was a way better fight in three though, because of, No, it was uh, better in two. Because you gotta work for that shit. And number three, all you did was just Fly around in circles and just shoot everything, and it'll eventually blow up. Yeah, the, it, arm, the armor will eventually like either break off certain parts, yeah. or if yeah. you're just if you find a way to stay behind it, you can just shoot its core. Yeah, and then on Halo 2, you actually had to fucking board it to take it down. Mm. Yeah. Um, but which which is fair because it's your first time fighting it, and then by Halo 3, you should already have a, a game plan figured out. Yeah, so, true. Um, what was the other thing? Fucking the Easter eggs in this game too, like the beach balls and shit, or oh, the yeah. you can actually find the scarab gun. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> no, that was Halo Three where they had the guys from Rooster Teeth. Um, oh, it's the lines. Do yeah. voiceovers in it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck, dude. Wait, was, was Halo Two the one that had that freaking gigantic freaking vehicle in the in the multiplayer map? No, that, was three. Mean, that was that three. Elephant, three. That was the elephant. That was the elephant. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was three, which we're gonna talk about in the next episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, will be Halo Three. I'm this. I'm Halo Three. Look at me. Oh. That was fucking. <laughs> you know, from Mr. Meeseeks. You ever even fucking Rick and Morty? Come on, you should know about Rick and Morty. You're a fucking young bastard. I mean, I know them. I don't. I don't watch them. I've, I've yet to watch. I don't know why I haven't watched it. Yet. All right, you're a terrible person. Don't talk to me ever again. This is the guy that didn't finish it. Correct. It sucks. <laughs> they went corporate. They went corporate. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. We, we, we didn't. You didn't finish it because you couldn't get access to it. No, they sold out. You couldn't get access. <laughs> it doesn't to matter. Line. I can always have access to it. I have access to everything. How'd they sell out? Because they didn't buy in. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I'm just making shit up right now. So full of shit. No, I'm making shit up. I'm not full of shit. I'm just making yeah, shit you're up. so full of shit that you're, you're making it up. I'm just making it up in here. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're a shit bender. I'm a shit bender, yeah. Anyways, Halo 2. Great game. Fun along. You guys good? You got anything else to say? Yeah, that's good. Good? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Great, right. great fucking game. Excellent. Anyways. Well, if you enjoyed that, you can enjoy our other podcasts at GameRageMagazine.com, where you can uh, also find Anime Syndicate. And if you want to follow Frank, you can go to Anime underscore Syndicate underscore podcast to be an official agent of the Anime Syndicate. And if you want to follow Game Rage on uh, Instagram, which is, which is all of us, you can go to at Game Rage Magazine on Instagram and TikTok, at Game Rage Mag on Twitter slash X, 
And uh, yeah, that'll be You're forgetting for something. Us. What? What am I forgetting? YouTube. Oh, yeah. Go to YouTube at Game Range Magazine, right? Yeah, I, believe I, don't, that's what I don't know. You're the one that set it up. Wait, I should probably. You're the one that keeps forgetting <laughs> to plug it. Yeah, you're right. I do keep plugging it. That's like the, that, honestly, that's the most important one because I'll tell you what, man. As of recently, YouTube has really been fucking coming in somewhat clutch. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'm very shocked that. What is our, what's our YouTube channel handle? God damn it. <laughs> Here it is. It's Game Rage Magazine. You can search it on YouTube. It's, oh, at, yeah, at Game Rage Magazine. I was right. It's at Game Rage Magazine, where we now have four subscribers, and we are three of them, I think. Yeah. Well, actually, I don't think we are. Can you see? What, how do you look at your subscribers? I don't know how you can do that. Four subscribers. God, we've put up 270 videos and had 1,600 views, which, honestly, I will say this. We were getting jack shit for views up until, like, a couple months ago. We started doing Aspen. That's you're right. When we started doing the Aspen Hotel. Uh, anyways, if you want to hear that, you can go to GameRageMagazine.com and you can find Game Rage Movies and TV. Anyways, alright, that's enough plugs. Uh, that'll be it for us for now. So, catch us on the next one when we do Halo 3. Congratulations, you survived another episode of the Team Killing Glitch Tards. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Game Rage Magazine. Also, subscribe on Twitter slash X at Game Rage Mag.